Ragnite, a mysterious ore that emits an azure glow. It contains a magical energy known as mana. Its discovery brought prosperity to the masses, thanks to a select few who could wield its power through alchemy. In due time, the Mana Engine, an alchemic device that uses Ragnite as fuel, was invented in Europa. The processing of mana itself became an industry, allowing the masses to access alchemy and sparking a revolution. This azure revolution transformed Europa. As the demand for Ragnite grew, so too did the conflict between countries. Thus began the Age of Imperialism, in which countries would expand their borders through aggressive military action. The revolution transformed mankind's history into one of endless war over the azure mineral. The Kingdom of Jutland, September 15, 1954, E.C. On this day 100 years ago, the European Liberation War that shook the country came to an end. Elsinore, the capital of Jutland, is lively in celebration for the centennial anniversary of the country's freedom. Meanwhile, in a grove far away from the bustling city, two people from the Institute of Alchemy stand before a grave. I'd like to know the truth, Professor. The truth? What of? I've been researching the Liberation War for a long time, and after going through the records, I've begun to have some doubts. Like, did the traitors really commit treason? The Elsinore trials have ruled it as such. The history books paint a similar picture, too. I've seen the court records written by Lord Donovan Lindegard. 
the five traitors conspired to thrust Jutland into war for self-interest. They incited the citizenry to rise up, leading to the death of thousands. But is it even possible to start a war through personal greed alone? That conflict is now referred to as the Liberation War. The name speaks for itself. Doesn't the country as we know it exist exactly because they rose to action? Professor, you come from a line of instructors that spans five generations, all of whom taught at the Institute. And the time of your great-great-grandmother's tenure is of particular interest. I've heard that Princess Ophelia and the leader of the traitors, Amlet Gronkare, were classmates and her pupils. Have you heard anything from your family about that period? How did the traitors feel? What did they think? Or why did they lead this country down the path of war? If there's some hidden truth, we should share it with the world. I've looked through a lot of historical documents and research papers regarding the traitors. I've reviewed historical facts and researched them time and again. And I've concluded that there's an important fact that remains hidden about the traitors. And that would be? I haven't gotten that far yet. Still, I don't believe that the traitors started a war for selfish reasons. Jutland won the war and underwent a massive growth. The fact that they laid the foundation for it should be ample reason why we shouldn't think of them as criminals. If I may be so bold, I even think the honor of those five should be restored. That is quite a bold notion. <laughs> There's no need to restore their honor. Then do you accept the contents of that trial, Professor? They didn't want to restore their honor. They wanted to watch over this area. That was their only request. Huh? It was for that reason they accepted the brand of traitor and the penalty of death that accompanied it. Their only wish was for all five of them to rest here in this land. Still, the people couldn't forgive them. But it's clear that their request has been granted. Why is that? It was done out of love. A complex one at that. You have heard something then, haven't you? Please, you have to tell me, Professor. Very well. <laughs> what I'm about to discuss, as you've surmised, this is a truth that's been passed down by my family, starting with my great-great-grandmother. Listen to it in its entirety and then decide for yourself if this is a tale that should be shared with the world. October 4th, 1853, E.C. The region of Molda, where we stand now, became the first battleground in the war between Jutland and Ruse. Jutland's anti-Valkyria squad challenged the Ruzi Empire. They were known as the Vanergand, and their commanding officer, Amlet Gronkare, was one of the traitors. Hey, Helena. That racket you've been making is getting on my nerves. Huh? I'm just, uh, 
trembling with excitement. <laughs> Looks like we've got a tough one over here. I expect great things from you, Private Anderson. I you can count on me. I, I must be excited too. That's why I can't stop trembling. You're just scared. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you ought to be following my example, little boy Bloom. I am the very paragon of vitality, vivacity, and virility. Ugh, I'm surrounded by children. War's about to break out and you act as if you don't have a care in the world. Excuse me? Miss Bridget, surely you're not including me with the rest of this ragtag rabble. <laughs> you're the brattiest one here, Isaac. You're quiet as always, Tilda. You're pretty calm yourself, Bridget, even though the enemy's practically within reach. That I am. Strangely so. Once the battle starts, though, who knows what will happen. I've been waiting for the day to take revenge on the Empire. I'll give no quarter. Well, we have been pushed around a lot by the Rucks. Everyone has some grudge against them, big or small. The old lady down the street from us died the other day. They couldn't find any medicine for her in time. She was so nice. God, this is unacceptable. <laughs> As if we'll let an economic blockade kill us. If we're gonna die, we'll go out with a bang. Just so. Twas to save my people from such a regrettable fate, so far as I am able, that I have taken up the sword alongside you. We must break free from the clutches of imperialism and put an end to this unjustly imposed embargo. Amlet Groncare. Yes? I must say, I truly am glad to have joined this unit, for it has attuned me more closely to the will of my people. Lieutenant Vilfour. Yes, sir. Have the princess stand down. Beg pardon? I still have matters to discuss with you. I don't. Uh, must you always speak so obstinately? Even to your... Come, your highness. Godot! Princess, when your commanding officer says stand down, you stand down. You're not students anymore. Helena! Aw, oh, come on! Fifi's just trying her bestest, you know? You always take the princess's side, Sarah. Why don't you become her handmaiden? How rude! What's with the attitude? Doesn't seem like they've bolstered their numbers nearly as much as the report indicated. Even if they had, we have our orders. Of course. Watch over the princess. Understood. Sorry for the delay, Lieutenant Gronkair. started. <sighs> Sir, His Majesty decreed at 0752 to all citizens of Jutland the annulment of our alliance with the Ruzi Empire. He has declared we're entering a state of war against them. Anti-Valkyria Squad, prepare to commence operation. Our objective is to seize the outpost and take back our land from the Empire. Everyone, please, lend me your ears. This is not just a battle, but the dawn of a war for our people's independence. May the blood of our own go unshed. And may we bring victory to Jutland, our country and home. Jutland back then was in a state of poverty. The Ruzi Empire, who is in a long-standing alliance with our country, approached the other major powers of the world. Together, they launched a year-long economic embargo, which would later be known as the BRFH Blockade. BRFH. Brenland, Ruse, Franck, Hobstria. Those four powerful empires had ceased all trade and commerce with our country. With the blockade in place, the livelihood of the Jewish populace was strained by a lack of resources. Jutland went to war under those circumstances.
Let's go. All right. Let's do this. I swear I'm not <laughs> drunk. This. Who's next? I swear I'm not drunk.
Who's next? Swear I'm not dead. Who's next? Huh. Who's next? We got this. Keep it up. Who's next? Who's next? I swear I'm not drunk. Finally, they bring out the big guns. The enemy forces are slow to react. I wonder if they're still half asleep. Private Helena Anderson, ready for action. Take it down. Our tank! It's out of commission! Where the hell are they coming from? So they've finally taken the bait. Runner, send word to the Motherland. Everything's proceeding according to His Imperial Majesty's designs. There are several opinions about how the war started. One theory is that a desperate Jutland finally decided to mobilize, similar to a cornered animal. Another, that Jutland preemptively attacked due to intel that the Ruzi Empire was launching an armed invasion.